specifically in Southern California, where there hasn't been a major quake since 1857. If you can't, you need to find any means possible to drop, cover, and hold on, because your life is going to depend on it. The San Andreas crack is about to cause the biggest tsunami in history. Did you know California's San Andreas Fault is primed for a colossal tsunami-triggering event? It's true. The fault, stretching 800 miles through California, is causing alarm among experts. What signals indicate this imminent disaster? And how catastrophic could it be? Well, in this video, we'll explore the daunting signs that the San Andreas Fault is on the brink of unleashing the biggest tsunami in history wreaking havoc on California. The San Andreas Fault is a colossal line slicing through California, a seismic giant spanning a staggering 800 miles from the southern Salton Sea to the northern Cape Mendocino. It's not just any line. It's the defining boundary between two colossal plates of the Earth's crust, the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate. This fault, a right lateral strike-slip transform fault, stands as one of the most prominent geological features globally. Its magnitude isn't just in its sheer length, but in its fundamental role in shaping California and influencing seismic activities. Split into three distinct sections, the northern, central, and southern segments. The San Andreas Fault showcases different characteristics and varying earthquake risks. This division isn't just a mapmaker's convenience. It dictates how seismic shifts might affect different regions along its length. The movement along this fault isn't abrupt, but a steady slip, an average of 20 to 35 millimeters every year, a testament to the titanic forces shaping our planet. Imagine this fault as a colossal seam stitching together two immense pieces of the Earth's crust. The Pacific Plate, to the west, encompasses iconic cities like San Diego, Los Angeles, and Big Sur. On the other side lies the North American Plate, home to San Francisco, Sacramento, and the majestic Sierra Nevada. It's as though California itself is straddling two tectonic titans, caught between their immense forces. This fault isn't just a line on a map. It's a living, breathing entity shaping the landscape and defining the risks for millions of Californians. The northern segment holds its own secrets and dangers, the central portion bears different threats, and the southern end, near the Salton Sea, presents its unique challenges. It's not just a geological marvel, it's a crucial factor that defines the state's seismic vulnerability. The way this fault behaves and interacts with the land around it isn't just a matter of curiosity for geologists. It's a matter of safety and preparedness for everyone living nearby. The San Andreas Fault isn't just a fracture in the Earth's crust. It's a lifeline for understanding the region's seismic activity and the risks associated with it. Its segments aren't just lines on a map. They represent different challenges and levels of preparedness for Californians. This fault, with its steady but persistent movement, stands as a constant reminder of the dynamic nature of our planet. It's a natural wonder and, at the same time, a warning sign, urging preparedness, caution, and a deeper understanding of the forces that shape our world. Understanding the San Andreas Fault isn't just about studying geology. It's about safeguarding lives and communities against the unpredictable might of nature. The looming specter of a major earthquake along the San Andreas Fault casts a foreboding shadow over California, heralding potential devastation and untold consequences. Scientists and seismic experts paint a grim picture of what such an event might unleash upon the region. The implications of a major earthquake are grave and far-reaching. Forecasts and simulations depict a harrowing scenario with staggering casualties and widespread destruction. More than 1,800 lives could be lost, and a chilling estimate of 50,000 individuals may suffer injuries in the wake of such a seismic upheaval. The toll on human life is not the only concern. Millions of homes stand vulnerable, their very foundations threatened by the unleashed forces of nature. 
the fabric of civilization is at risk of unraveling in the aftermath of such a catastrophic event. The vital infrastructure upon which emergency responses rely, roads, electric grids, telephone lines, and water networks, could crumble under the seismic strain, severely impeding the swift deployment of life-saving aid. This disruption might render the efforts of emergency personnel almost futile, exacerbating the chaos and intensifying the challenges of rescue and recovery. The risk isn't uniform across the state. Densely populated areas like Los Angeles County are at the epicenter of this looming danger. Here, the seismic threat looms large, with the potential for powerful earthquakes to wreak havoc upon the sprawling communities, causing widespread destruction and disarray. The prospect of a major earthquake isn't just a theoretical exercise in caution, it's a stark reality that California faces. The potential loss of life, the widespread damage to homes and infrastructure, and the subsequent chaos could highlight the urgent need for preparedness and resilience in the face of this looming threat. Understanding the implications isn't just a matter of forecasting. It's a call to action, a plea to fortify defenses, and a stark reminder of the unpredictable and formidable forces that nature can unleash upon us. The San Andreas Fault isn't just a geological feature. It's a silent yet ominous harbinger of potential disaster. Recent findings and expert warnings paint a disquieting picture, signaling a worsening situation and heightened risk of an impending catastrophic earthquake. Experts have sounded alarm bells, describing the fault as locked, loaded, and ready to go. This vivid metaphor encapsulates the precarious state of affairs, hinting at the fault's potential to unleash a devastating seismic event at any moment. Such warnings serve as urgent calls to action, urging communities and authorities to brace themselves for the imminent threat posed by the fault's ominous inertia. In response to these warnings, measures have been taken in certain quarters to fortify the vulnerable foundations of buildings and critical infrastructure. Efforts in retrofitting buildings in Los Angeles serve as a testament to these preparedness measures. However, despite commendable strides in some areas, the broader landscape of California remains largely unprepared to face the full brunt of a seismic catastrophe. These warning signs of impending doom serve as a sobering reminder of the critical need for readiness and resilience in the face of such potential calamities. While sporadic efforts highlight pockets of preparedness, a broader, more comprehensive approach is imperative to safeguard lives and mitigate the potential havoc that a major earthquake could wreak upon the region. The warning signs and the urgent need for preparedness aren't merely cautionary tales. They are clarion calls to action. The time to fortify defenses, implement stringent safety measures, and bolster emergency response mechanisms is now. The fault's ominous silence isn't a guarantee of peace, but a stark reminder of the unpredictable and formidable powers of nature. California must heed these signs, unite in preparedness, and strive to mitigate the impending risks posed by the San Andreas Fault. Before we delve too deep into this issue, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more informative videos like this, The San Andreas Fault. An emblem of California's complex geological landscape looms ominously not just for seismic tremors, but also for the looming specter of a potentially catastrophic tsunami. The fault's intricate geological movement and collision potential eyes concerns about the brewing threat of what could be the largest tsunami in history. Thomas Jordan, director of the Southern California Earthquake Center, has sounded the alarm bells emphasizing the fault's critical state and the looming possibility of a major earthquake. His warnings, echoing those of other experts, underscore the seismic vulnerability that the fault presents, evoking apprehension about the potential calamitous fallout. 
The fault's intrinsic characteristics paint a worrying picture of a geological entity capable of triggering colossal waves with far-reaching consequences. The collision and movement of tectonic plates, specifically the Pacific Plate advancing past the North American Plate, create a seismic fault line fraught with immense potential for unleashing catastrophic forces. The notion of a tsunami of unprecedented scale, catalyzed by the San Andreas Fault, isn't merely a speculative fear. It's a real and palpable concern that demands serious attention. The fault's precarious state serves as a haunting reminder of the unpredictability of nature's might, emphasizing the urgent need for preparedness and strategic interventions to mitigate the looming threat. The potential ripple effects of such a monumental tsunami would be felt not only along California's coastline, but could reverberate across distant shores, underscoring the global impact such an event could inflict. It's a sobering reminder of the interconnectedness of natural calamities and their far-reaching implications. This looming threat isn't just about preparing for a single event, it's about acknowledging and preparing for a potential watershed moment in the history of natural disasters. Jordan's admonitions and the collective warnings from the scientific community serve as a clarion call to action. They beckon authorities, communities, and global entities to unite in a concerted effort to bolster resilience, enhance early warning systems, and fortify coastal regions against the grim prospect of a devastating tsunami triggered by the San Andreas Fault. The San Andreas Fault stands as a testament to the intricate dance between the North American and Pacific plates, where their relentless movements result in the fault's distinctive characteristics. This colossal geological entity spanning a staggering 800 miles is primarily driven by the horizontal motion created by these tectonic plates sliding past each other. However, despite its immense length and profound seismic implications, what are your thoughts on this matter? Please leave your comments in the section below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Meanwhile, thanks for watching.